Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we have a Titan event for the new Light Titan tank. Okay, and first of all, like which uh, defense and which attack I'm using in the world. So I'm using for sorry, I'm using four defense this one. Okay, which is the four Light Titans with more at the end. I believe it will be uh, another possibility I was thinking is to use Eden here. Okay, for defense, maybe it's better, maybe not. But at the end, I am using this. This the composition was quite obvious, and is what I am using for attack. Like for example, this is the one to attack. Then let's go by two. Quite straightforward. So it's what we mentioned before already with the three light titans. It was the key now with the four light titans. It's going to be very strong. Okay. So first thing, how we get the new titan? So if we go to the ben. Day after day, you log in, but you will get this. So you will not get coins in the shop to buy the new titan. Spending emeralds, and I spend 600, which is the energy that I spend every day because I got them from Arena. I got 650 for Arena. I spend 600, so I always get 50 more every day. Spending energy, I spend the energy I got from the emeralds, almost 1,000. Okay, very important because you get also the weapon, and it's what I need personally. General soul, if you pay, and it's not more than this, power at least, and this is the reason I always mention it's super important that uh, always you have kill all your hydras every day, because you kill hydra every day, you will be able now to open around between 500 to 1000 of these spheres, and then you will get how many, like opening 120, you get this, all of this, okay, so maybe you get this for, by six, so you will have all the coins you need to level up your titan maybe to four stars or five stars. You will have enough weapons, artifacts to uh, probably to put the artifact to level five star or maybe close to max out, maybe. Awakening the same, another related with uh, it, uh, Hydra. If you have these spheres, you can open them and for free you will get all of this. Titan contribution, which is the titanite one. I already did 800. You can perfectly do this in three days, no problem at all whatsoever. And then you will get more points and you will get more of these uh, crowns. I don't need them, okay? And then the same for uh, activity points. Remember, you can sell artifacts, but 2,700 is around 1,000 per day of energy. So you really don't need to sell anything and you will get also some of them from here, okay? So let's take them to be able to unlock the, the Titan. Okay, change. I'm going to go now to my spheres. I am not going to open these ones. And the reason I'm not going to open this one is because I don't need crowns. You need opening. I'm going to save for the next event of a hero because I am looking for intelligent uh, rings for my hero because I'm missing a lot of intelligent rings. So I'm waiting for a hero that is going to be intelligent and then I will open all of them. Okay, but make your case different. For spheres, I have 900. Again, all of this is free. It's for uh, killing the Hydra every day, and you get it from here. You save them, you don't use it, and you wait for this type of events. Okay, I am not opening any of this. I have not uh, spent any of this, so what I am going to do, I open the 900. They will give me also a lot of, of uh, dust for the new Titan. Okay, so now if you go back here, you will have a lot of... of this is for energy, sorry. A lot of this one that gives me a lot of weapons. And this is only for opening uh, the spheres for free for clean the Hydra. For this, it's very important that the first two teams you build are teams for Hydra, okay, and not for Arena. Because this will allow you to unlock the Titan. And despite the other teams, though the other guilds will have strong heroes, you will have a strong Titan. So one by the other. And this will allow you to do all of this for free, so they will not be able to catch up with your titans ever. Okay, so think about things like uh, Martha, uh, Cesar, Aiden. Okay, perfectly valid team. Okay, as you see, I got all of this. Let me take this, take this. Okay, so let's go to the shop and see how much I was able to level up my, my titan. Okay, first, of course, Pay for this, as you see, 60,000 points only by doing free things. And I could get more if I open the other spheres and I don't want to open. Related to the other artifacts and pieces, I think the energy bottle is relatively cheap, relatively. 
okay, and the other are artifact pieces. If you need artifact pieces, go ahead and take it. I don't need it in my case. So probably, and I don't need also artifacts for water, earth, and titan. So honestly, I have of these, I have almost 2,000 already. I don't need it. So maybe I will take dust. Okay, very expensive, but I don't have any place, other place to do it. But first, of course, let's uh, unlevel Regal. Okay, 1,000. Cool. And now it's when the game crash. <laughs> very nice. 5,000 second level. Okay, 10,000 third level. 25,000 fourth level. Okay, and to me, it is cost 500. So as you see, now I will need to go to energy because I had bottles of energy. I was saving for the new hero, so maybe I will need to spend 100 bottles of energy or something like this, or maybe open the spheres, the other spheres, to be able to get enough coins to level up this to level five stars. So five stars will be relatively easy, as you see. The problem will be six stars. So probably to get it six stars or max out, you will need to pay. Okay, so you don't want to pay you can level up close to or four stars or almost five stars without any problem or relatively any problem and the only problem will be you want to max out being honest this is not a super titan so probably in couple of months maybe in six months or less like blue star was in four months they will appear in the summon spheres so it's not a, a big issue to wait okay so get it at four or five star and then wait if you are not you don't want to pay for for it okay then for the hero, and let me go to the hero. As you see, I have already prepared. I have all the bottles. Then it will allow me to move this to 120. Okay, let's see. And also give me a lot of, of uh, sparks to move in other heroes to level 30. But anyway, let me see. You can see how much it costs, by the way, to level out a hero to what it done to 120. Okay, you see there, it's almost, I think it was... 800, so like almost 600 thousand of these bottles. Okay, and then skins. I already ha I had saved a lot of my skins. Okay, because I, I know that the new Titan was going to appear and I want it because I don't have uh, any good uh, tank. I didn't have the darkness one. I don't know if I will have enough. Almost. I level like I need 3000, which is mean in three, four days I will be able to max out. Okay, for the artifacts. Important thing, I am going to the version that I mentioned before, which is I am not doing anything of uh, that affects fire, earth, or water. Okay, if I go to my other titans, like titan, you will see exactly the same. Like, for example, Amon, I have not done the crown because uh, it's only for air, fire, and water titan, the same for Solaris, and the same for Iyari. If I go to Iyari, you will see this 100, but because I use it into, in dungeon, but any of these, I will recommend to level up and this is a risk but it's a risk i'm taking on purpose because my idea is i don't want to do anything that is earth water and fire for battles because as the game progress we are going to have four light titans and four darkness titan and they are better than the earth water and fire so why i'm going to do things for these titans when maybe i am facing four light or darkness titan plus one of the other ones or directly all light or dark, uh, darkness titans only so for this, I am not doing this, and it allowed me to save half of the artifacts. Okay, I mentioned this before. So if we go to the new Titan, clearly what you need to do is awaken the uh, the seal. I, I, I mentioned before, like, I have tons of them. So for me, it will not be a problem to max out. And then I will spend all my dust to level up the seal. Okay, after the seal, if you have already leveled up everything else, you probably need to do the, the weapon. In my case, I don't care too much about the weapon. So I'm going to focus only on level up the seal to 120, and then I will wait for the darkness super titan, okay? Okay, so to 105, not bad. Here, I have already uh, all the lights, so I will do max out here. And there, this is what I got with the, with the normal... Uh, points than you saw. So as you can see, it's almost five stars and in the middle between five to max out. So only by three things. Okay. So as you see, you can really have a strong Titan in this case. And my advice is I will not do this too. And I will wait for the darkness. Okay. Saying this, what it could happen in the future, and you need to be aware of this. Let me go to Titan battles is it could be that it's going to be the four light Titans plus the darkness super or darkness super Titan 
it could be the opposite then we are going to be playing with the four dark uh, darkness titans plus solaris so the light super titan or it could be a mix that maybe we play with a uh, main something like this plus the darkness uh, super titan okay we don't know yet but for me currently what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this try to max out this at the level that only i have all the artifacts maxed out and all the skins but without the ones that they are for water fire and earth titan and i'm going to save as you see like probably in one month or less i will be able to match out the seal of the new uh, titan okay regal and i will wait for the release of the darkness super titan in a man i will have at least two to three artifacts or that's for two or three artifacts when the titan is released when the titan is released then i will level up the weapon and the seal of the darkness super titan and i will add it to this team okay until this is happens i will go with eden but the eden will be replaced by the darkness super titan at that time we will have the four darkness and the four light titans and then we will see which is really the the best team but in my case i will be already having solaris and the darkness uh, super titan both of them with the weapon and the seal done and then i could move one hero out or in or i can move two sorry uh, titans two titans in or out okay the best ideal scenario will be if it's darkness because if it's the darkness one i already have that's enough to level up the darkness one so i will have already my team ready in defense so i don't need to care about uh, light or darkness titans until the new wind titans are released okay if the problem is that now after there is the darkness look light then the best defense teams is the one that play with the four darkness and solaris this will be a problem for me because now i need to level up brewster amon and, and the other one and mort okay but saying this one of the advantage is again i am not doing uh, anything related with water earth and fire so keros you only need to do uh, this one okay the seal for keros for brewster exactly the same than the other titan you only need to do where is brewster here where are you here you only need to do also the seal because then it, all the other are related to water fire and earth which you don't care so it's only two artifacts and then mort where is mort mort is three artifacts okay which is no idea so at the end you will need to level up for artifacts which is four months it will be not the best but in four months after the release of the darkness super titan i will be able to switch from light to darkness and i will have both of them darkness and light okay this will be nice if light is going to be the best you know like and will be the four light uh, light titans then it will be ideal maybe i start spending some resources on level up iyari weapon in a manner that help me in dungeon and one important thing that I forgot to mention related to this is I don't know yet if uh, which tank is better, if it's going to be Brewstar or it's going to be uh, Regal. I put my bet in Regal because Regal works very well or has synergy with Amon. I am going with the four uh, Light Titans. Okay, but one interesting point there is Regal weapon is extra damage to these Titans, whereas uh, Brewstar is defense okay and for a tank maybe defense is better than damage okay we don't know yet but also it's true that iyari has the defense okay iyari has the defense here it provides defense against uh, water and earth blah 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 so it's somehow similar right so i am not sure which weapon will be better for a tank also regal does stance whereas uh, brewstar does more damage so I don't know yet, but because I have light titans and I think the stand from Brewster aligns very well with Amon, I am going to go with uh, the light titan. And this is my bet. Again, I will do, only do the seal. Then I hope so I finish in less than a, than a month. And then I will start saving for the darkness. And when the darkness release, you use the darkness. Okay. So this is what I will do. Again, this is the cheap manner to build everything. Hope it helps. And uh, I will try to do demos. Probably some guild mates has already... Uh, share i'm not sure they have shared already or no yeah they have already shared here a max out a uh, team probably okay with brewster there already with sorry for regal there already but i will do test but my teams are not uh, really maxed out at all my titan team so i cannot tell like it doesn't make any sense to try to play now with with my team and see who will win because of course like there is a big difference there, right, on on power. But we see already what is the, the outcome. 
again, if you have enough resources, probably Brewster, uh, sorry, Mort is better with the four light titans. But in my case, because I'm waiting for the darkness super titan, I'm going to, to wait for it like for the next four months and that's it. Okay, like I'm not going to explain anything else. But you see, Aprox, for example, this is a battle that I was mentioned before. When you fight against this team, you don't care on having a fire, earth, or water. Crowns, protection, damage, or defense. So really, there is not a big change. The only change here is I am missing a, my own a, regal seal, a little bit. It's 105, not 120. And I am missing not having a, more instead of them. But if I have more instead of them, Despite me, my team is 550 and this team is 650. This 100 points extra is only on fighting or in defense or attack against water, fire, and earth titan. And in this battle, it will not make any sense. Okay, it will not give you any benefit. And also works very well in defense because people underestimate this. They think, oh, my, your team is 550, I'm going to destroy it. And they attack you with the three light titans and they don't get anything and they lose sometimes because everything else is maxed out. Okay, take this into consideration. Let me know what you are going to do or what is going to be your strategy 40 times and hope it helps.